Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. We're here. We're here uh, to hear a bill. Uh, the Ms. Pro Tem. Or to ask that you, uh, the committee, agree uh, to put House Resolution 1162 on a supplemental budget so we can um, take a vote today. Put on calendar. H.R. 1162, a bill that would uh, protect the state's authority to uh, partner with local school boards to establish statewide policy, and secondarily, it would affirm the authority that the state has exercised for the last 10 years to authorize um, state charter special schools. The minority leader, Ms. Adams. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Speaker Pro Tem, can you show me the bill where we specifically define what constitutes a charter school? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Can you show me in the bill where we specifically define what constitutes a charter school? It's not defined, it is defined in state law explicitly. And the words uh, special schools, in fact the words public schools are also not defined uh, in the state constitution. Um, with regards to charter schools, however, uh, what is the legal definition in state law? I'll have to share it with you on the floor. Okay. I do have that. Thank you. Um, in addition, is it not true that any legal definition that is defined by state law, meaning uh, by statute, it can be changed by simply 91 votes of this body? And that, that would be true of the definition of the exact definition of a local board. It would be true of the exact definition of a special school. As you know, um, it is I don't know of a definition that's in the Constitution of any of the words that are contained in it. Um, is it not further true that the the, the crisis that precipitated the, the incident of this resolution is that the courts actually stated that they believe there to be a definition of special schools and that charter schools did not fall squarely within that definition because they did not it meet did the not and that's why I'm seeking to one of the reasons I'm seeking to amend the Constitution and so while it's not defined in law the courts have opined officially the Supreme Court has offered a final definition of what does constitute a special school so there is in law a final adju adjudicated definition of special school they although gave examples I would not agree that they gave an explicit definition. Can you list the examples of special schools that they've allowed for? I, I can on the floor. Okay. Um, in addition, can you ex can you describe what the funding um, the, what the funding implications of lines 40, 43, 44 are with regards to local funding of schools, of public schools? Is that the the lines that specifically state that one cannot use uh, SPLOS dollars? or local tax dollars to maintain a state authorized uh, special school unless you have a vote of the local um, system? No, th this is a line that says the state is authorized to expend funds for support and maintenance of special schools in such amount and manner as may be provided by law. That is, that is correct, that is what it says. So does that preclude, what, what specifically does that preclude and what does it allow? It specifically precludes because it's in the lines above in the Constitution that you one cannot use um, one cent sales tax or the local tax dollars. Uh, can you show me where it says you cannot leave? What it says is that you cannot levy for the purposes of special schools. It does That's not correct. specifically, ex but, but what you've just stated is that it says you cannot use the funds. I, I don't it, see it where says it says you cannot levy it unless a local school board allows it by having a vote of the people. Um, would you agree that funds can be levied for one purpose and that if the funds, if other allocated funds are reduced, the effect could be that the school system is required to then levy additional dollars to make up for the shortfall? They, they absolutely could not, according to the current Constitution. They absolutely could by the constitutional amendment that was put forth by some other members. So under the parameters of this, look, I just want to be clear. Your statement is that if a school board declines to approve a, a charter school. If the state then decides to create that charter school and the state then reduces the funds allocated to that school system by, and to quote the, the language, funds for the support and maintenance of that special school in such a manner and amount as provided by law, 
that if that has the effect of reducing the funds that go to a school system sufficient to require that they need additional money to make up the shortfall, that school system would then, or is it not true that the system would then have to create, would have to find the funding itself and the only method It is not that true that you could take the local funds. That, that wasn't my question. My question was, if the state reduces its funding to the extent that it diminishes the amount of funding allocated to that school system, that school system would be required to make up for what would traditionally be state funds allocated to that school. If, if your assumption is that they would need to make it up. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Lindsay. Just very briefly, we've been over this with the minority leader before. Perhaps we need to go over it with her again. Uh, regarding the uh, constitutional amendment proposed by some members of her caucus, H.R. 1335, also uh, has in there uh, that language uh, that uh, charter schools will be uh, defined by uh, general law of the legislature, correct? I, I took it almost verbatim. Okay, so we're basically using the same language as was proposed yep. in H.R. 1335. That's true. Yeah, I'd ask you. for your favorable consideration. Thank you. Got, you. You still got, you still got, Mr. Willard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it true, uh, Ms. Jones, of what the example given by our minority leader, the funds that are coming from the state, although not being going directly into the allocation of funds to the local school district, are going to students of that school district as a charter school? It's true, but I also think that um, what the minority leader is referring to is a bill that we passed overwhelmingly four years ago that is not contained in this constitutional amendment. Well, Thank sure. you, Mr. Chairman. Um, to specifically respond uh, in, in the form of a query to Mr. Lindsay, has Mr. Lindsay or any member, uh, any, any, has Mr. Lindsay specifically sp spoken with me regarding this bill? We were in the education committee, um, Mr. Abrams, when we went over this yesterday when the exact same question was being asked. If you were not, I apologize. Okay, uh, but, I, but, I, but I thought that you were in the education committee meeting. And if you weren't, I apologize. But we had a full committee meeting on just this issue. So if you weren't there, I apologize. But that was my recollection that you were. I would, I would just like to clarify that the, the statement made by the WHIP was that you'd spoken to me about this, and that is not correct. Well, um, but I do have a specific question. Uh, my question then is, uh, the, the language that you um, appropriated from 1335, is it not language that in the entire context of that section actually sets parameters for charter schools? So not only does it use that language, but it is followed by, I think, approximately 47 other words that specifically lay out the process by which those charter schools could be defined and could be limited because it requires local authorization yeah. of the schools to be denied before the state can take any action. If I may, we may have to have, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Just in regards to 1335, the problem with 1335 uh, in, in that regard is there are numerous problems, one of which is that uh, there are many ways that it's local system. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. But uh, anyway, it contains several flaws, one of which is the, the, the mechanism for triggering the state action is too limited to really bring forth any meaning and allows for too much shenanigans uh, beforehand. And re it also, quite frankly, opens up the back door for the use of local funds, unlike the constitutional amendment that we have proposed. And I'll be able to explain that more further on the floor. Thank you. I, I'd prefer no more questions. I'd like to ask for your favorable consideration. All right, you've heard 1162. Do I hear a motion? Do I hear objection? All those in favor signify by aye. All those opposed, same sign. No. The ayes have it. Supplemental calendar, 1162. And it's modified structure. <laughs> 